I want to share some scriptures that were brought to my attention about the shofar. And I think these are important because they go to the idea of, of it being an alarm, which is probably why you have the seven trumpets in Revelation, to show us, hey, the time is near. Uh, blow a trumpet in Zion. This is Joel 2, verse 1, and I'll read probably at least to, through verse 2. Blow a trumpet in Zion and, and sound an alarm on my holy mountain. Let all the inhabitants of the land tremble, for the day of the Lord is coming. Sure, surely it is near, a day of darkness and gloom, a day of cloud, clouds and thick darkness, as the dawn is spread over the, the mountains. So there is a great and mighty people. There has never been anything like it, nor will nor will there be again after it to the years of many generations. A fire consumes before them before them and behind them a a flame burns. The land is like the Garden of Eden before before them, but a desolate wilderness <laughs> behind them, and nothing at all escapes them. Then let's go to verse 15, which is also sh talks about a trumpet. <coughs> and it says, Blow a trumpet in Zion, consecrate a fast, proclaim a solemn assembly, gather the people, sanctify congregation assemble the elders gather the children and the the nursing infants let the bridegroom come out of his room and the bride out of her bridal chamber let the priest the Lord's ministers weep be, weep between the porch and the altar and let them say spare your people O Lord and do not make your inheritance a reproach. Uh, so we have that. And then let's go over to um, Ezekiel 7 verse 14. And then we'll go to Ezekiel 33 after that. But Ezekiel 7 14 says and they have blown the trumpet and made everything ready but no one is going to the battle notice this is about a battle for my wrath is against all their multitude the sword is outside is outside and the plague and the famine is are within he who is in the field will die by the sword. Famine and, and the plague will also consume those in the city. Probably talking about the uh, what happened at the siege of Jerusalem, but it still it still matters. Now let's go to uh, Ezekiel 33, which is about the watchman. Uh, Ezekiel 33, we'll start in verse 1. And the Lord came to me, saying, Son of man, speak to the sons of your people, and say to them, If I bring a sword upon the land, and the people of the land take one man from among them, and make him their watchman, and he sees the sword coming upon the land, and blows the trumpet, and warns the people, then he... Who hears the trumpet and does not take warning, and a sword comes and takes him away, his blood will be on his own head. Uh, he, he heard the sound of the trumpet, but did not take warning. His blood is on, his own, on himself. But had he taken warning, and he would have delivered his life. But if a watchman sees the sword coming and does not blow the trumpet, and the people are not warned, and the 
the sword comes and takes a person from them. He is taken away in his iniquity, but his blood I will require from the watchman's hand. So that tells you how important the watchman's job was and how important the shofar was because it's about an alarm. And uh, one thing I wanted to look at real quickly was the parable of the ten virgins. The, the parable of the ten virgins is, I believe, in Matthew 25. Yes. It talks about the, them having their lamps. Uh, this is Matthew 25, verse 6. Be, but at midnight there was a, sh was a shout, Behold, the bridegroom come out to meet Behold the bridegroom, come out to meet him. Then they all, then all those virgins rose and trimmed their lamps. And see, some of them were asleep. And this, I believe, this has to do with Yom Teru, which is why I bring it up, because you know they have their lamps, and it talks about uh, some go, the five wise going in, but the five foolish not. And he says, he, in verse 12, he answers them. When they say, ask him to open up for him, he says, But he answered, Truly I sit you, I do not know you. Why does he not know him? Because they don't keep the Torah. Uh, but hopefully this helps you with some, with, uh, what a trumpet was used for and how powerful it is as a weapon in the spiritual realm. Shalom, shalom.